Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Family Round. 
Yay! <laughs> Today, I forgot to put my thingy. Today we are going to be working on a skulk farm. Da -da -da -da. That's this stuff right here. And you can get it by using these things. Um, yeah, so we're going to be building a zombie-powered skulk farm. It's going to be super cool. Get this stuff out of my thingy and put this in my thingies. But yeah, um, I've got... I oh, oh, I haven't been home since the shenanigans yesterday. Oh no. Creeper hiss as soon as I came onto the balcony. Yeah, scary, right? That one gets me, like, every, every time, time I come time. through. Totally. That's one of the uh, exactly subtle ones. Um, let's see. So, oh, I've got most of the stuff downstairs. Where am I? I wanted to put this stuff up. Okay. So I spent a little chunk of this morning digging out the the farm, so that you wouldn't have to just spend the whole stream watching me dig out a giant hole. So it's pretty much ready to get building, except for the fact that all of the walls, ceiling, and floors need to be non-natural blocks. Because otherwise, they'll all just get converted to scope, and that's not cool. So, this is what we've got so far. Up there is the actual, like, where the floor used to be. And the entrance and exit used to be through here, but I raised it so that we could kind of use that as a walkway, but this is like where the zombies would come through and everything. So, um, this, this bit can stay up here for now, but so all of this and that and that need to come be reverted. So I talked to Platy and Llama and they said that they would take on the task of decorating this area in non-natural blocks so that while it would likely still get covered in like skulk veins it will still look semi-decent and just not like randomly taken over by skulk so hopefully that'll be cool um so right now i'm just going to be working on little bits until they get here of Just replacing a few things. Hospital. In the hospital. Oh, okay. Thomas is slightly distracted. did a really good job on it, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Really. Okay. Yeah, totally. You use the button upstairs, right? Awesome.
Um, we're we're here. Oh. Hello. Hey, cool. I knew I left that there specifically for you because I knew you would like it. Yay. Yeah. I got my job. Skulk farm time? Yes, it is, Cotton. Here. Um, stretch, hydrate, posture check, pronoun check. Woo! All the checks! Oh my god. My back just popped so much it sounded like popcorn. That was great. Gulp, gulp, gulp. I am. Um, they them because i am they them awesome so here's like the stuff i've got for making the farm over here and random bits and bobs um i don't know what materials you guys guys need for your stuff so and if you need extra bits just let me know this I want to stay. I, this I want a door here, because I have a lot of collection area down below. Wow. Your zombies are noisy. They are. I'm gonna be quieting them in a second. Actually. Oh, I didn't get any normal water. Normal water. Normal glass. Yeah, I've tinted glass. So what do you think, buddy? We need uh, end bricks and purple and stuff? Alright, um, should we go get it? There is a shulker full of end stone in the end bits chest. If you're looking for it, and there is more than what's just apparent in there. You know, I've gone this whole season with my spawn set in, uh, in my apartment, rather than in here. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, can I take that out because I don't want to get desensitized to creeper sounds. Yeah, that actually is a problem for Zombie Cleo because um, one of her like um, interaction thingies is that you can make you jump scare her with um, um, creeper creeper hisses and she actually does die to creepers more often now because she's been desensitized to it that's a lot of instant cool did you get purple yet There is a uh, grindstone thing down in the zombie thing too. Yeah, I made sure to put a grindstone and a um, crafter down there. Yeah, just bring it all. Good idea. 
Those cookies look a lot like books. What? What? I, I, my cookies kind of look like books apparently. My jelly ice cream sandwiches. They do kind of sort of look like books. But... Kind of, I can see it, yeah. Talk to Scar though. Yeah, Scar's the one that commissioned them. I don't know who actually did the art for them, but... Yeah, that, that's the floor. That's floor level. You're the artist, Thomas. And stone floor sounds lovely to me. Sure. Yeah. We can always uh, well, put a fancy pattern in any other floor we can see if we want to, but... Yeah, you can, you go, can in go in later, later to, 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 like, like um, um, texturize. <laughs> but also, like, the main central area is going to be covered mostly by farm, too, so... Look at me paying attention to suggestions. People are smart. Oh yeah, I'm going to be doing a little spilling of water here and there while I switch out the zombie farm stuff. Delicious party. That's what I was going to suggest you guys do the floors first because that way I can start building the farm once I finish this bit. Spilling. Uh, oh, did, oh, I, did miss I miss a bit? bit? What's my name? Who am I? What's going on? Stone bricks are cool. Follow the yellow brick road. Ooh, more coal.
So the walls are becoming the walls? The walls are becoming walls. Are we going end brick up to there and then purpuring above it? That's as far as you could reach. <laughs> yeah. There is one of the um, boxes over here has a crap ton of scaffolding in it. missed the spot over here on the floor. put these in a really bad spot so I'm gonna move the stuff no you're good there we go no the darker messages have infected main chat uh, only for stuff after I refresh. I did, um, okay. I am confused, but that's okay. got the minecart. Oh well. I'll have to go back and get it. Later. Do you want a minecart? Oh, I need, oh, need it to be a hopper minecart and I don't need it right away. Whenever I'm in mod view or apparently for messages that happened before I joined chat, the name color is darker than it should. Oh, that's right. You were complaining about name color things the other day, weren't you? I do not pretend to even understand like why Twitch does things through the way it does it, so Oh that's right, I need stump it. Slides. Eh, eh, do the thing. Eh. I probably don't need to right now. I can put my shovel in there at least. And that'll give me an extra bit of room. I don't think it's intended, and I really hope it isn't, and I'm very mad about it. The, the um, names show up as different colors, 
like slightly different shades of the color depending on where you view them and what like mode you're in and this is really bothering cotton Aww. You're about to see an excessive use of slabs in this farm, by the way, just to warn anybody. Because, um... Well, you know. Thomas is making fun of me now. Just thought you all should know that. Why so many slabs? Because slabs cannot be taken over by um, skulk veins. Veins, skulk veins don't grow on slabs, on half slabs. So I pretty much covered everything in this farm with slabs or trap doors so that it would not get taken over by skulk. Because when I was testing this farm, the, the area of, in creative around the farm is horrific. It's These aren't slabs. No, this is where the um, minecart is going. If you guys want to change out the spruce trap doors, um, just let me know. I just picked those because I knew we already had like a 5 million of them. No problem. I think it looks cool. That definitely looks cool, dude. Ooh, what if you what if you used uh in stone brick walls to highlight the arch? That way we have some uh, some depth there. Yeah, like like the part that's that stone now. Like try slapping it and like take out the bricks you just put in right there, and like make that all like wall, so that the arch kind of stands out not only in color but in depth.
put my shulkers in a bad spot. Bag nabbit. Yeah, that's cool. Suddenly it got much darker in here. Hey. Thank you. You're welcome. So the slabs are handy, actually, so I can duck under them. Yay, handy! I think that looks pretty cool like that. Yeah, that looks awesome. Elbow just popped. That was lovely.
Yeah, do you think you're going to be able to, um... Oh, oop. Might have messed up your water screen here. Mm, this is like... Sorry. Where are you? I'm I'm up the wall. You're right. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, that? Yeah. Um, yeah, you went in one too far. That's okay. Just remove that one block. And yep, yep, and then you know, fill in the wall. They're perfect, beautiful, all fixed. Yay. Okay then. That's what scaffolding is for, is making big, large, horrific, not horrific, you know what I mean, constructions with it. Um, it could be horrific if you ask to starve. Yeah, yeah. I need water. Are you thirsty?
Oh yeah, totally dude. Yeah, that looks cool. Breaking your floor, I'll put it back to rights when I'm done. I just need to make an okay. infinite water source. I don't know, somebody keeps throwing all this scarfolding around. I don't know what's up with that. You know, that just looks really cool. Just, just, just. I love the whole farm and cased in tinted glass thing. Yeah, it's a cool aesthetic. I'm it's so hard to believe we didn't have tinted glass not that long ago. I know. I don't know if I could, like, I love it so much, you know? Totally. with somebody scaffolding. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's okay, in a few minutes there's gonna be live lava, so then you get to be looking out for that too. Woohoo, live lava! <laughs> it's all slabs, I'm sorry. We can use dirt or something, dude. Do the scar way. Yeah. I put it in the, um, shulker.
No, no worries. You're doing awesome, dude. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is that? Oh, there's dirt on my thingies. Okay. It's dead. I can finish that bit later. Hello. Hello. That's bright. Okay, live lava. Nobody fall in it. Got it. Go into lava. Got it. <sighs> it's covered up now. They're all a bunch of weirdos, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I might have broken some of your torches in there. Yep, that, that sounds like a zombie falling. Okay. Here, I'll put some new ones in. Thank you. Yeah, put some new zombies in. Ah! Bag nab it. I'm getting attacked by scaffolding. Uh. Chain will chest plate. a bunch of zombie bits. Oh, did you pick them up? Thank you. I picked them up. 
They they don't smell very good though. Well, yeah. You can just shove them wherever for now. Excuse me, sir, zombie. I need to die. Thank you. What an obliging fellow. Yeah, well, that's okay, because the purple bits are, you know, up above most of the machinery, so they add some interest up there. And we can texture these brick walls with stuff if we want to. But the question is the ceiling. Well, wait, is, isn't there stuff in the ceiling? Because I see soul, sa soul sand over there, so that's an indication to me there's stuff in the ceiling, right? Um, well, that's um, well, not that's... the ceiling. That's the little platform that you come down, come down on when you come when from you come above. above. And the... It's a little, there's a bubble vader and a water drop tunnel, which by the way, you can edit too. You can change, change their block blocks. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Hmm, so let's see. So, Pearl says that if we want to draw the eye down here, we should have a darker roof, right? But if we want to draw the eye up, it should be light. Hmm. Well, we could do the top like end bricks, but then use purple pillars as like cross beams. got a um, musical ping, um, copyright ping, because of Scar the other day. Essentially, um, the Scarland music disc set off a um, copyright thingy, and I don't even know if it's like legit or if it's just we don't know our music kind of thing. So I was just like, yeah, it's not really hurting me, so I'm just gonna leave this. Okay, I think this is done. Ow. Oh yeah, but that time. Yeah. 
But like maybe like one block lower to make it look like a crossbeam, you know what I mean? Yeah, sweet. And maybe this stone we could replace with something too. Testing, don't freak out because I'm going to start stuff. Beautiful, that sounded like it worked. Yeah, all right. Don't forget this bit of wall next to the bubble vader over here. It's still and the site. This farm, for the most part, is done. I need to go get the hopper minecart, though. Actually, I can make one here. Where's my iron? Whoa, hey, hey, water on the redstone. What the heck, dudes? Oops. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, okay. you said we could. Oh, that's right. I just didn't realize that. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, finish that up and I'll just fix the redstone once you're done. I was all like, what the heck? I thought everything was safe. It's all on me, I'm all wet. Sorry. It's like really dark in here too. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. That's what's going on. I was like kind of confused. Which, you know, not that hard to do. Yeah. Parkour is so bad I can't even jump around on my own build.
the letters. You're fine, dude. looking really cool. I like the way you did the arches with the depth. That's so cool. I mean... That's what scaffolding is for. Yeah. Well, you know, it's temporary, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just... I'm just picking up all your dropped blocks. Oh, I see. This is the down over here. That's why it was asymmetrical. Oops. What do you think, dude? Sorry, I could see that stone block from below and it was bothering me. No, that's okay. See, I couldn't see it. Oh. oh yeah, that looks cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Definitely. Are you guys, Are you guys think you're done, with, done the with the water, water shenanigans? shenanigans? Yeah, that should be all the water shenanigans we need to do. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I said you could because I just completely didn't realize that the water would be watery. So, yeah, I forgot that water was watery. That's all the redstone back up. Okay, I'm gonna give me about 
but it's fine. Yeah, I think we're good to take down all this scaffolding and uh There's just a couple spots where we need I need to make adjustments, I think. I wouldn't mind replacing the torches with different lighting here too. Like uh, ochre frog lights might sit in with the end stone well. That's cool by me. Cool, you got an ender chest over here? I think I probably have ochre frog lights. Yeah, there's an ender chest over by the collection system over there. Poker frog lights achieved. Now let's see. Uh oh. That was. What are you doing? We can use other blocks to pillar up if you want. Just saying. Dagnabbit! You filled in the bit that I had taken out so that I could fill in the other bit. Yeah, that was accidental, but uh, we got frog lights. Okay, I'm gonna start the farm here. Hopefully. Um, this beam is going to be problematic. The, the beams are problem? Yeah, because it blocks the way to the top of the farm, which is how you get down. Um, hmm. Yeah, hopefully it will be. Yeah, this, this, like, you Oh, this this glassy column thing here. Can we make an opening for it under the? No, your no, purple pur pur pillar, pillar column, where you have it right now, stops you from being able to get 
to the top of the farm. Right, but do you need to get to the top of the farm? Yeah, because yeah, that is how you get down and up, and up and out. Well, yeah, but as I was saying, couldn't we just make a different way to get to the down thing? Well, how so? Let me come up there so I can see what you're talking about. Okay, okay, so you come in, and then you come over here, and come over here, and go down here. Okay, but I mean, couldn't we, like, make a little catwalk over here to it? I, I suppose we could just do that as a catwalk? But, like, no, because this is on top of where we would put the... Hmm. We came down, but you'd have to... Like, you wouldn't be able to... We could just, uh... Like, imagine that's a slab. And just do it across that way? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that would work. Then you're under the same problem over here, right? Yeah. Um, let me see. We need purple colored trap doors, because then we can just put a door. Purple doors. So we come out here, boom, we walk down here, boom, boom. So let's see, do you, uh... Okay, llama. Bring up the, the purr purr. And the stone cutter. And the stone cutter. Thank you. I uh, won't need very much.
Yeah, wait. Yeah, more per per pillars. Yeah. Awesome, by the way, dude. This is working beautifully, though. Stuff is getting covered in skull veins already. But... Uh, that will happen. We knew that was going to happen. Exactly. Yeah, they happen. What do you think of this idea, earlier? The sensors are being... Uh, column problem solved. Ooh, what'd you do? Have a look. Ooh, you made a little arch! Oh, that's cute! I like that! Yeah. That's clever. Sweet. You guys are awesome. The scope sensors send out right as signal, so they're making all the trap doors split, and that's annoying. Yes, I could see the difficulty.
this is actually significantly faster than I was expecting it to be. Um, we, we've got plenty of scope now. Yeah, awesome. We've got like three, almost three stacks already. So yeah, this is the super awesome farm. Yay. Did we get rid of all the torches? Is everything nicely lit up between the various frog lights? Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Hello, chicken. Yeah, we could occasionally get the occasional jockey who just floats down. And I, uh, I use these end slabs over here by the bubble thingy down because uh, I kept falling in them when I came over here. So. There, there. That's fair. That's cool. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with this farm. I have I a... Um, and right in time. I know, it's just about time to finish up. I have a tripwire here that detects when they fall which then sends a signal down to the stone generator to make stone every time one of them falls. Except for sometimes they all come down like one right after the other too fast and that kind of breaks the stone generator and we end up with cobble. So I put this little um, side thing, it's a um, pulse extender over here and this, this repeater will lock the signal repeater right there like that so that when extras come down it doesn't send off the stone generator right away so it has a chance to actually make stone and then it you know it comes forward and they make more stone the only problem is is i think i might replace this top row of, of trap doors with actual slabs just because the um Escaped chicken. This is built sensors are being really annoying. Because we do end up with a bit of overflow because it only puts out one row of stone instead of That's really satisfying when it does that though. And I also, this down here is a manual turn on for the stone generator for like if, you know, they haven't started falling yet and you need more stone, push more stone out or whatever. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this is come. Okay. Gotta go collect more because holy crap, it just keeps making it. This is pretty much the right here is the push limit. Okay. 
I could have like done more like piston shenanigans to shove it over and like, make blocks of them and stuff, but I figured this was good enough, but maybe I should have because holy crap. It only seems to want to take over the pillars over here, which isn't too bad. Really, I don't think the trap doors on the side here are 100% necessary anyway, so we're just gonna pop those off. I added a few walls to kind of support this platform up here. Like this end over here is connected to the pillar, so that works through the arch. But then over in the corners here, for structural stability, I added in some walls as support. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks cute. Yay. I like that. I think you like you guys have done an amazing job. This whole thing looks so cool. Awesome. My farm Yay. is kind of sad. Like the building around it looks way better than the farm. Well, that's typically. I mean, redstone farms aren't built to be pretty, right? But I think the chicken is the best part of the farm for me. This whole farm is going to generate so many chickens. Because you get the chicken jockeys down, and then... Yay. I love the little bubbly bubbles. Oh, did that guy have feather falling on him? Yeah, every yeah. once in a while we get one that's got like... Can I shoot him? Yeah, smack him with your sword if you want to. It'll all work. Oh, I just love the. Uh, I know the I bubbles the are like really, yeah. really like satisfying to watch it spread, isn't it? Yeah. Totally. Oh, those damn sensors up there are going to keep it because you can't push them with pistons, so that's going to. Oh, we got a shrieker. <laughs> No, it's just annoying. It's just entertaining. Yeah, it's not bad, just, you know, loud. Yeah, exactly. I think this came out pretty cool, guys. I'm really pleased, and we have a crap ton of skulk now. Yay. We weren't really using this for an XP farm anyway, so... Well, when we first built it, we built it because we needed, um, rotten flesh. The skulk farm we built because Daddy needs skulk. Exactly. And hey, it's 5.30. Yeah. I'm going to come over on this frog light and it is a uh, Star Trek transporter and say, beam me up, Scotty. You're adorable. It's a little hard to like see exactly what's going on with this, but it's really cool and I'm really proud of it. It's like, I looked at a handful of tutorials, but I really needed something that like fit my actual build. So this is what we ended up with. It's a little difficult to navigate around, but I'm really pleased with it. Like, if you need to, you can just 
sent this through for a cycle to make more stone if it's lagging on the stone. Those two did an amazing job with the decorations. I swear, I could not have done anything as cool as this. So, yeah. My family's awesome. Just, just saying. And that chicken, I don't know what that chicken thinks it's doing. I, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely doing something. Here's a batch coming down now. I'm gonna grab down this last batch of scope here. Let's get towards the top again. Actually, I'm gonna kill this guy. There we go. Tentacle cakes. Yeah, they're, the other two are still watching and making weird comments off to the side, just so you know. This is my life. You make weird comments at me even when I'm not on stream. They actually hold back during stream, just so you know. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of building with Skulk, so this is definitely going to be interesting to... And of course we got the, like... The minecart underneath is mainly just to pick up the rotten flesh and drops, zombie drops, so that we don't end up with like massive amounts of lag from all the entities. Because, you know. Oh, now the chickens move over here. Hello, chicken. But anyway, I suppose that's it for today. Yeah. The chicken's like pecking the redstone, yeah. Or is this like, yeah, maybe you just, just got a random chicken. Just chickeny. But anyway, um, whew. I love those bubbles. They're so cool. Beep. They're so cool. Boop. But anyways, thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the, um, redstone build. Um, I should, like, post the, like, Matic for you guys, but I don't know, like, I'll put it, like, a hundred years ago, I'll say I'll put it in when I post the VOD, but by the time I post the VOD, I'm so not going to actually remember that I said I was going to post the, the, the schematic. So I'm not quite sure what to do about that. But, like, yeah, like, if I do post this VOD and you're like, hey, where's the schematic? Feel, me, feel free to make a comment on the VOD and I will then remember that I needed to put the schematic in the description and I will put the schematic in the description. How's that sound? And if you're watching... I know, he's like, just like, this chicken is just like, right up in my face. I know. This, this... There we go. The, the, the chicken has moved on. But anyways, thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the decorating and building and skulk shenanigans. This room is so freaking cool looking. Holy crap. I want to like, spend like, a whole crap ton of time here just, just because it looks so cool now. <laughs> Because it looks good with Skulk. It, it's like the Skulk is all dark, but this is bright, so it just kind of like... Yeah. It, it looks really cool. I love it. But anyways, thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you all have a great day. And I will... See Why did I suddenly have this in my inventory? Where did this come from? Anyway. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye!